conservative. Going over the air. There we go. What did you hit? Okay. All right. Well, if it must have been static. Okay. What was hit? Okay. Uh, so what? What happened? Why did it go out? Okay. If we could. All right. All right. Well, in the middle of breaking huge news, uh, this being iHeartMedia Milwaukee, apparently we can't even get through the start of a show. This is really starting to get ridiculous, uh, by the way, in terms of, like we need to have audio. I need to be able to broadcast audio over the air. OK, in any event, here we go. Are we live? Three, two, one. Let's restart the show. Welcome to the Dan O'Donnell Show. We are reporting now exclusively that criminal charges are almost certain to be filed today if they haven't been already in connection with the disappearance and what is now believed to be the murder of Sade Robinson. She's a 19-year-old Milwaukee area technical college student who disappeared on April 1st. Police officers, the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office, as well as state investigators were all searching the residence of the person of interest who was taken into custody shortly after body parts were first discovered in connection with this case. He is Maxwell Anderson. He has not been officially identified by police or district attorney or court sources, but rather first identified by heavy.com. Jessica McBride, who also runs WisconsinRightNow.com, was the first to report that Maxwell Anderson is, in fact, the person of interest in connection with this case. Law enforcement sources were searching his property near 39th in Oklahoma for more than 24 hours a couple of days ago searching for evidence. Law enforcement sources have confirmed to me that something that they describe as a sort of sex dungeon was found inside the home, which they are working on developing as the likely motive in connection with what is being investigated as the homicide of this 19-year-old young woman, Sade Robinson. 
I am told that it is very likely, if not uh, certain, that if he hasn't been charged already with first-degree intentional homicide, that those charges will be coming today because when uh, this is the last day that he can be held in custody without criminal charges. Obviously, based on the nature of this case, based on the fact that it is very, very uh, difficult to, to piece all this together. I can also confirm via multiple law enforcement sources that all of the body parts that have been found around Milwaukee in Cudahy on four different days over the past week or so do belong to Sade Robinson. It appears as though she was killed after meeting up with her killer online, that they arranged to meet up and one thing led to another and the working investigative motive, the, the, the motive for the death was something involving uh, some sort of sexual fetish or something like that. Uh, I am still working. I have been working sources and trying to piece together what it is that I'm sharing with you now over the last 15 hours or so. As you can imagine, the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office, as well as the Division of Criminal Investigation, has been very tight-lipped about this investigation, given the sensitive nature of it. What we do know on April 5th, the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office wrote on Facebook, citing multiple reports in the local media, that just before 5.30 p.m., Tuesday, April 2nd, the dispatch center was notified about the discovery of a severed human leg in or near the water at Warnemont Park in Cudahy, east of the golf course, by the pump house. Then on Friday, April 5th, Another body part was found near 31st and Walnut, according to WISN-TV. That was one block from the spot where Robinson's vehicle was discovered burned out at North 30th and West Lisbon. A witness there says the car was set ablaze on Tuesday evening. That would have been the night of April 2nd. On Sunday, April 8th, Eighth, NBC reported that more body parts were found. Unidentified remains discovered Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all in the area of the 3000 block of West Galena Street, just about two miles from where Robinson was last seen. The person of interest in this case, who again, I will stress, has not been criminally charged. He is described as a person of interest, and he has been in police custody for about a week now in connection with the disappearance of Sade Robinson. He is Maxwell Anderson, and according to online court records, he was convicted of second offense drunk driving in 2022, 2019. There's a conviction of disorderly conduct in Door County in 2015, so nine years ago. He was convicted of disorderly conduct, domestic abuse, criminal damage to property, and intimidating a witness a year earlier, convicted in Waukesha County of disorderly conduct, domestic abuse. That was the original charge, although the domestic abuse modifier was later dropped as part of a plea deal. Again, it is believed that this is now a, in fact, it, it, it is confirmed by a multiple law enforcement sources that this is, in fact, a homicide investigation, that uh, this is a, a very serious investigation. Now, as Heavy.com reported via Jessica McBride, Multiple people have been basically flooding various online forums, Facebook and the like, to report that the person of interest, uh, th there are... <sighs> How shall I put this? There have been long-term red flags about behavior that seem to multiple people to be off. In fact, one person who describes himself as a friend was 
at the property last summer. So this would have been June of 2023 at the property near 39th in Oklahoma that was searched for more than 24 hours. And he described some sort of massive hole in the yard in which the person of interest said, well, I'm, I'm building a basement, which made no sense to the friend who said, hey, wait a minute, you've already got a big basement. What do you mean you're building a basement? And the friend was concerned because he brought his dog over to the house. He said, hey, man, my dog could fall into this hole, which is about five feet by six feet. Obviously, this is a very, very, very sensitive situation. And I wrestled long and hard with uh, reporting publicly some of these details, uh, but I believe given the very, very high profile of this case, I will stress as I understand right now, there have not been criminal charges filed in this case. There is only a person of interest who has been in custody, and this has been for uh, almost a week now since the discovery of that human leg. This has been a homicide investigation, and that uh, the family has been notified that Shade Robinson has unfortunately been the victim of a homicide. But what I can report again exclusively is that all of the body parts are believed to be one person that the uh, suspected motive in her killing was some form of sexual violence or fetishization of violence and that there was what was described as a uh, BDSM which means bondage uh, domination and sadomasochism uh, dungeon in the home that was searched for more than 24 hours. Again, we are going to try to bring you as much information on this still developing story, and we will try to get you as much as we can. Again, I am trying to be as sensitive as possible because there is a, a family out there that is just feeling unimaginable pain. I can also investigate, or I can also report via some of these sources that an investigation is underway into uh, the possibility of another victim, possibly more victims, although that is considered relatively unlikely given the sloppy nature, and this was what was described by one of my sources, the sloppy nature of the the attempt to conceal the body that, I, look, let's just be honest with ourselves, folks, in Milwaukee, everybody's minds immediately went back to Jeffrey Dahmer, right? Everybody thought, okay, is there a Jeffrey Dahmer situation unfolding in Milwaukee right now? I can tell you law enforcement considers that to be somewhat unlikely because, remember, Dahmer went undetected for years. This appears to be such a sloppy attempt to conceal a homicide that some investigators believe it to be unlikely. I am not discounting the possibility. Others say, look, people don't just all of a sudden butcher their victims in such a grotesque manner. And I am telling you, the uh, investigation will result almost certainly in criminal charges today. Uh, this is obviously, I take no joy in reporting this, folks, uh, but I do feel it is my, it is also, I also, it is believed there is no threat to the public. Uh, that is something else I'm hearing from various investigative sources, that they are not operating as though there's an ongoing threat to the public as a result of this. We will have much more here on the Dan O'Donnell Show, an officer involved shooting in Washington. Walkershaw. We'll cover that next. The Dan O'Donnell Show. We'll be right back. While most other furniture finishers restore wood furniture using high-pressure water to remove old lacquer and varnish, we only use a chemical solvent. Because when you use water, it will eventually raise the grain, loosen glue joints, and lift veneer. So if you have something really special that you'd like to restore, call us. 
For the finest in furniture finishing and heirloom restoration, by golly, it's Malali. Malali Furniture Finishing and Repair. Serving everywhere. Quality counts. M-U-L-L-A-L-Y finishing.com. If you want your restored antique piece to remain primitive, no problem. Maybe you want to restore it to as good as new condition. We can do that. The way we work is based solely on what your needs are. And that seems to make the process of restoring your unique piece almost always a positive one. So if you're looking for the finest in furniture finishing and heirloom restoration, by golly, it's Malali. Malali Furniture Finishing and Repair. We're no jobs too small. Serving everywhere. Quality counts. M-U-L-L-A-L-Y finishing.com. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, our Snap Secure Dental Implants will let you eat and speak with confidence at a price that's affordable. So if you think you can't afford dental implants, think again. Our practices in Milwaukee, Kenosha, and Menominee Falls are open to serve you. Schedule a free new smile consultation by calling 1-800-DENTURE or visit AffordableDentures.com to find the practice near you. That's 1-800-DENTURE or visit AffordableDentures.com. Schedule your new smile consultation today. Affordable Dentures and Implants. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. Hey, it's Jesse Kelly. Are you still on the fence about owning gold? It's time to pull the trigger with the Oxford Gold Group and buy gold and silver. Nobody can predict the future, but we can't put our head in the sand either. The Oxford Gold Group are the pros. They make owning gold and silver simple and easy to understand. Call Oxford Gold Group right now and you may qualify for up to $10,000 in free precious metals. Call 833-995-GOLD. That's 833-995-GOLD. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. Hi, this is Karen. As one of the very proud partners of a family-owned business, I'm excited for this new year. Recognized by Carrier for a third year in a row for excellence and receiving the President's Award is a top honor. Still providing outstanding service from routine maintenance or emergency service to estimates for replacement on your home or small business. We do it all while keeping you the customer number one. Turn to the experts, Carrier and DNM. DNM at your service. Call 281-5350 or visit us at dmheating.com. Classical conservatism, contemporary style. It is the Dan O'Donnell Show. Welcome back to it. To reiterate our top story this morning, we can exclusively confirm that the person of interest in connection with the disappearance of Sade Robinson, Maxwell Anderson, is in court this morning. He is going to be charged in connection with the disappearance and, sadly, homicide of Ms. Robinson, who is 19 years old and disappeared on April 1st, the day before a human leg was discovered at Warnemont Park in Cudahy in the water just east of the Warnemont Golf Course. That evening, a witness saw Robinson's car set ablaze. The burned out car was discovered by authorities the following morning. And then on Friday, April 5th, Saturday, April 6th, and Sunday, April 7th, three different days, more body parts were discovered at various locations around Milwaukee. I can't and confirm via multiple sources within law enforcement that unfortunately all of the body parts do belong to one victim the person of interest who as of this broadcast has not been charged had his house near 39th and Oklahoma searched for more than 24 hours by the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office which is the lead investigative agency in this investigation as well as the Milwaukee Police Department the Department of of Justice's Division of Criminal Investigation and what was discovered there again according to law enforcement sources is what was described as something of a sex 
dungeon. Now, the person of interest, who again has not been charged, has prior convictions for domestic abuse, disorderly conduct, as well as uh, criminal damage to property and intimidating a witness out of Door County, consistent with a domestic violence assault. He has also been convicted of second offense drunk driving. That is the most recent case in the online circuit court record database, commonly known as CCAP. Again, as soon as we have more information on this obviously very quickly developing story, we will pass it along to you. Early this morning, Waukesha police officer is investigating a theft at the CarMax in Waukesha, shot and killed a suspect. Now, he was unarmed, but according to police chief Daniel Thompson in a press conference this morning, he made a move consistent with reaching for a gun. Officers were in the area on a previous call for service and were able to observe the suspect in question. However, the suspect who continued to quickly walk away was not compliant with officers' commands. Officers attempted to engage with the suspect in a peaceful manner to de-escalate de the situation. During the interaction, the suspect made overt actions that were consistent with the individual drawing a firearm which posed immediate danger to the lives of the officers. Fearing for their safety, officers attempted to gain control of the situation using verbal commands and non-lethal force options. In response to the imminent threat posed by the suspect, the officers discharged a firearm, striking the suspect. Immediate medical aid was rendered to the suspect and emergency medical services were called to the scene. The suspect was transferred to an area hospital for advanced care, where it was later pronounced deceased. Now, according to Wisconsin law, statute 175.44, a law enforcement officer may use deadly force to stop behavior that has caused or imminently threatens to cause death or great bodily harm to the law enforcement officer or another person. That is the only time a law enforcement officer is authorized under state law to use deadly force. If both practical and feasible, a law enforcement officer shall give a verbal warning before using deadly force. According to Waukesha police, that's what happened here. Now, even though the suspect was unarmed, Armed, a reasonable officer could absolutely have an imminent, uh, a reasonable fear of imminent death or great bodily harm. Reaching into the pocket after ignoring repeated commands to put your hands where I can see them. So the suspect is walking away. He is indicating that he is going to try to evade arrest. He was apparently trying to steal a vehicle from that CarMax, which incidentally, very weird. I actually sold a vehicle to that CarMax maybe four or five years ago. So I know exactly where that is. And there are obviously a whole lot of vehicles on the lot. Now, the officer is giving verbal commands, giving a verbal warning, keep your hands out, do not reach in your pocket. So that element of the statute is satisfied. If the suspect is making a quick move into his pocket, that could be an definitely is satisfaction of the legal requirement. I will tell you, uh, a week ago today, in fact, I went up to Green Bay to meet former President Donald Trump. I was personally invited by the man himself to come up following our interview last Monday. And when I did, what happens is when, when you meet him, it's just a very quick meet and greet photo op type thing. And you're, you're shuttled through the line and you get about 30 seconds to a minute with the president because they're on a very tight schedule. What happens is the president is in a secure area behind a, a curtain and there are secret service agents all around. And before you go in behind this curtain, the secret service says, empty your pockets, take your phone out of your pocket, put it on camera. And as soon as you walk into the curtain, hand your camera to the secret service agent who's going to take your picture. 
when you greet the president, do not make any sudden movements with your hands. Do not, under any circumstances, put your hands in your pocket. Do not make any movements that are jerky or, you know, very quick, very abrupt. Do not point anything at the president. So this is very well known. This is obviously a security thing. When you're making that gesture, like you're going to reach for something, a reasonable officer can say, hey, he might be reaching for a gun. I might need to use deadly force force. Now, in 1989, the Supreme Court determined in a case called Graham v. Connor that officers' use of force, quote, must be judged from the perspective of a reasonable officer on the scene rather than with the 2020 vision of hindsight, meaning Sure, we today, later this morning, can say, well, the suspect was unarmed. There was no reason for this officer to shoot this suspect. Well, a reasonable officer, when it's dark, when the suspect is ignoring repeated commands to stop, to put your hands where I can see them, to don't put your hand in your pocket, and he's doing so anyway, a reasonable officer, I think, would be justified in use of force. Obviously, the investigation is in its earliest possible stages. But what was very interesting to me, and I sort of had a bit of a revelation while uh, covering this story earlier this morning, was that isn't it interesting that this radio show show is probably the first time you've heard the Wisconsin statute in any media coverage of any officer involved shooting here in this state that actually governs these sorts of shootings. Officer involved shootings when an officer kills an unarmed man, especially an unarmed black man. You've likely never heard of the Supreme Court case Graham v. Connor, which actually gives wide latitude. It gives deference to the judgment of a reasonable officer put in often impossible circumstances where they have to make decisions in a split second, in a millisecond. They have to determine whether this suspect is likely reaching for a gun. What what if he's reaching very quickly for his driver's license as which sometimes happens. Well, a reasonable officer in that moment could say, hey, wait a second, I told him not to reach in his pockets. This is why if you are confronted, even if you're just pulled over, say, hey, officer, my license is in my pocket. I'm going to get it now, right? And because uh, I actually have a friend of mine, this was a few years back, who was pulled over. And he didn't, you know, he's a middle-aged dude, right? And, you know, he's, I don't even know, going 10 over, whatever it is, he's pulled over. And he reached for his, he reached very quickly. He's like, oh, officer, hey, how you doing? He reaches real quick for his license. And the officer, like, actually put his hand on his side, because they don't know. He said, hey, wait a minute, sir, sir, please. Keep your hands where I can see them and slowly reach for your license, right? This is probably the le least likely human being to shoot an officer, but the point is the officer doesn't know. And it is very interesting in the way that officer-involved shootings are covered and have been covered for years that you never hear the relevant state statute. You never hear, okay, well, if the officer determines that there was an imminent risk of death or great bodily harm, he is, in fact, authorized to use deadly force. And, oh, by the way, there's a Supreme Court case uh, that says when you're investigating these cases, you can't use the benefit of hindsight. You have to investigate this from the perspective of a reasonable officer in that situation. It's almost as though the media doesn't have a vested interest in giving you the whole truth or the whole story, but rather in pushing a narrative that bloodthirsty cops are just out to shoot unarmed people. People. I'll say this. Anytime. You're listening to the Dan O'Donnell Show. When we come back, should we lighten the mood a little bit? We have had a lot of heavy stories. We're going to have some fun stuff coming up next, I promise. Dan O'Donnell. We'll be right back.
I'll say it again. Our mission is to protect and uphold our reputation. And what that means is wherever we go, we make it better for those in need of our services and the great people we have working with us. Our reputation matters. It matters to us and it should matter to you. We believe that operating with integrity will set us apart from our competitors and that this attracts people to us that share these same values. I say this because I want you to know when you work with Semper Fi, character counts. It's why you can count on the industry's hands-down best lifetime workmanship warranty that now includes free annual inspections. And it's why we always have one project manager per job, which is absolutely not the industry standard. When you're paying for a brand new roof to go on what's likely the biggest investment you have, you want it done right, and you want to be able to count on the people doing it. This is Brad Youngluth with Semper Fi Roofing and Exteriors, your local, veteran-owner and operated exterior remodeling company. They keep you safe, warm, and dry, Semper Fi. Home practice is about to begin. Your daughter's new tap shoes? Loud. Your son's new tuba? Louder. But you got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with $50 overdraft grace zone. So if you lose track of expenses buying some noise-canceling and sanity-saving headphones, we've got your back. You got this with $50 overdraft grace zone from Associated Bank. See AssociatedBank.com slash checking or ask a banker for details. Member FDIC. Don't let the stress of buying a new car outweigh the excitement. With Car Gurus, you can buy or sell a car exactly how you want. That's why millions of people use Car Gurus. Do all the upfront work online and search their massive selection by budget, make, model, and features. Compare prices to know you got the best deal, then head in for a test drive. Take charge of your buying or selling experience today and get it with Car Gurus at C A R G U R U S dot com. That's Car Gurus dot com. Picture taking your first steps into your brand new home. What do you see? Whether it's cooking meals in your five-star kitchen or practicing downward dog in your sunroom, Belinsky Homes can handle it all. At Belinsky Homes, we know each lifestyle calls for unique home essentials. That's why we've been designing distinct and deliberate floor plans for over 60 years. Considering every last inch of space, we build new homes ready to adapt to your life's needs. Visit Belinsky.com today to find your right fit. Polinsky Homes, built for life. I'm Jim Cantrell, and I believe we can show you a wiser way to build your wealth. So go to FinancialStrategiesInc.com and schedule a no-cost consultation. Financial Strategies, a wiser way to build your wealth. Get your patio summer ready with maintenance-free furniture from By The Yard. Backed by a 35-year warranty. See all the styles and colors at By The Yard's new showroom in Oconomowoc. Beat the summer rush. Shop today at ByTheYard.net. Hey, it is Dan O'Donnell here for Pick 6, the newest real money fantasy app from DraftKings. If you're a fan of basketball, if you're a fan of the NBA, you have got to try it. DraftKings, of course, an official partner of the NBA. Pick 6 is really really easy to play and getting started is simple you just pick if a player will have more or less of a stat for example more or less than 10 points more or less than four rebounds it's really as easy as can possibly be i've had a lot of fun playing draft kings pick six with nba and i want you to as well download the new draft kings pick six app now and get started with code wisn new customers can get up to two hundred dollars back in pick six credits if your first pick set loses only on Pick 6 from DraftKings with code WISN. The crown is yours. One offer per new customer. First qualifying pick set winnings less entry fees must generate negative number. Max reward up to $200 equal to amount of negative number. Issued in non-withdrawable Pick 6 credits valid for Pick 6 use only. Expire after 180 days. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. 18 plus in most eligible states. Age varies by jurisdiction. Eligibility restrictions apply. Pick 6 not available in all states. For up-to-date list of states, visit dkng.co slash pick 6 states. Void where prohibited. See terms at pick 6draftkingscom slash promos. Good news, bad news. The good news, inflation today is nothing like it's been in the past few years. The bad news, lower inflation doesn't mean lower prices. In fact, one recent study says investors still consider 
inflation their single biggest threat. If you're concerned how inflation might affect your legacy, your financial freedom, or your confidence, meet with the team at Annex Wealth Management. We're fee-only fiduciaries. We'll build a plan together and guide you on the steps to take to reach the retirement you desire. Annex Wealth Management. Know the difference. AnnexWealth.com. Hey guys, Donald Trump Jr. here. Let me ask you this. Does inflation feel worse than what we're being told in the news? That's because the official inflation rate doesn't tell the whole story. Since January 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back, but what you can do is stop your losses today. How? By diversifying your savings into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. When you're done, your money will be parked in a tangible asset with a proven history. To see how it works, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word SECURE to 989898. I trust Birch Gold. They provide an easy process to roll over your 401k or IRA into gold without losing your tax advantaged status. So text SECURE to 989898. 989898. That's secure to the number 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs from Birch Gold. Message and data rates may apply. Classical conservatism, contemporary style. It is the Dan O'Donnell Show, the only talk radio show in Wisconsin, officially endorsed by former President Donald Trump. Your show is a very important show, and it's a great show, and we appreciate it. An update to the breaking exclusive story that we had for you at the top of the show. The Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office has requested to hold the person of interest in connection with the disappearance of Sade Robinson, Maxwell Anderson, for an additional 72 hours hours. So it is unlikely that charges are going to be held uh, or filed today, as was the initial plan. Uh, this from, is this from Fox 6, producer David? This is from JS Online. Since the original probable cause statement was signed, there's been additional evidence recovered by way, namely of blood evidence, in addition to what's indicated in the probable cause statement from the defendant's residence. Uh, prosecutor said he asked for Anderson to be held for an additional 72 hours so he could review the blood testing results from the state crime lab before making a charging decision. The lab expects to have the results completed within two days. Days. So what we are reporting exclusively is that charges are, in fact, imminent. Uh, I was under the impression via multiple sources in law enforcement that those charges would come today, apparently to finalize the criminal complaint against Maxwell Anderson. Blood evidence from his home is going to be taken to the state crime lab once those results come back. And prosecutors obviously very clearly feel that the blood evidence is going to come from Sade Robinson, that Anderson is going to be charged with first degree intentional homicide. Okay? That's what we have so far. Investigators have uh, zeroed in since the disappearance on Maxwell Anderson. He is considered a person of interest only because he has not yet been criminally charged, pending the results now of additional forensic investigations. So, Anderson was in court today. My initial reporting stands. He is going to be charged with homicide in connection with the death of Sade Robinson. What we are also reporting exclusively today is that all of the body parts that were discovered in multiple locations, first in Warnemont Park in Cudahy, and then at multiple locations very near to where Robinson first disappeared and also where her car was found burned out, that all of those body parts do belong to a single victim. That victim, unfortunately, is Sade Robinson, and investigators confirmed to me that she is sadly the victim of a homicide. While investigating and searching the house of Anderson near 39th and Oklahoma, 
authorities from multiple different uh, jurisdictions, different agencies discovered what investigating officers called something of a sex dungeon, either in the basement or a back room. I've gotten conflicting reports on that, but all sources say there was what is being described as a sex dungeon. Okay, so thank you folks for bearing with me. Sometimes, unfortunately, I know we love to do a fun, upbeat, happy, silly, funny show. Sometimes the tragedies of real life get in the way of that. But we always do like to focus on liberal idiocy. Yesterday, we had what I thought was the unhinged liberal of the year, Jennifer Lewis, talking about Donald Trump in one of the craziest, most hilarious rants I have heard yet in the nine years now of the Trump era in politics. She was on the Zerlina Maxwell podcast and just went on an epic rant. What if I told you that I listened further to that interview. I found another soundbite from Jennifer Lewis going even crazier when talking about white people. I don't want to give away who the unhinged liberal of the day is, but folks, you are not going to want to miss this coming up in about 10 minutes. Now, what do you think out of all of the television shows that would be classified as in sort of the news genre? What do you think is the most inane. What do you think is the dumbest? Joy Reid's show, very, very good guess. Dave, very strong contender. I would actually go The View. Yeah, Dave says they're one in 1A, right? I would say The View, right? When the smartest woman on the show is Joy Behar, we have got a very low hurdle to leap over. Do you know how dumb you've got to be on The View to have not just Behar, but also Whoopi Goldberg correct pretty much everything you have to say? Well, that was the unfortunate position Sonny Hostin found herself in yesterday when discussing the big solar eclipse of 2024 combined with Friday's earthquake in the Northeast United States and this summer's reemergence of the sick Haters. Sonny Hostin got absolutely slapped down by Goldberg and Behar because she said all three events are related and all are the result of, you guessed it, climate change. Also, I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Although I love for the, the first time in cicada, cicada. like no, 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 hundred no, no, years. No, 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 no. Two That's, different. No, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. There's two, two different there's times. There's two different kinds of cicadas. Yes, two different coming. times. Times are coming. The good cicadas but, right, and the bad. But no. for the first time in in many many years. No, seven, so, every seventeen years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe <laughs> but, you know, maybe well, you know better. I, but in a way, say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that, you know, either climate change exists That's more or something point. is really or something going on. Returning. That's quite so not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It, can't, I don't it, think it, that's it happens the and, the, and the, kind of the eclipse, they've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen and they actually can say when these things are going to happen. So first of all, Sonny Hostin has no idea how to pronounce cicadas, has no idea that they reemerge every 17 years and there are two times Whoopi is shockingly right. I didn't look up when the second. I know there are 17 years cicadas coming back up this year, and it's going to be a noisy summer. And there's also a different breed of cicada that are also going to. There's just going to be billions and billions and billions of cicadas hanging out and making noises all summer long. So, okay, whatever. This is cyclical. It's what happens. It's what this animal does. So, not only does Sonny Hostin not know how to pronounce cicada, she also thinks that their reemergence has something to do with climate change. And she also thinks that the movement of tectonic plates deep below the Earth's surface, which is the cause of earthquakes, of course, is the result of climate change. And oh, yes, the position of the Earth, sun and moon in relation to one another, one another, which is the cause of eclipses, is also due to climate change. When you're getting corrected on air and in real time by Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar, you should just walk off the set in shame or be made 
to wear a dunce cap for the rest of the broadcast. But as shocking as that was, as hilarious as that was, that might have not been the dumbest liberal eclipse take of yesterday. That would go to Capital B News in Texas. Its reporter, Adam Mahoney, wrote an article entitled, Eclipse Fever is Gripping Black Texans. While the event will cast a brief shadow on life in Texas, it sheds a light on scientific fields that have been mainly out of reach for black folks. Now, I read this article expecting to get a big screed on racism. The only sentence in the story, which was a pretty standard issue like, hey, here's what's happening. Here's where you can see the eclipse best in Texas. There's only one sentence dealing with racism. Neil deGrasse Tyson will hold an eclipse watch party in Dallas as some have used the opportunity to highlight fields, astrophysics and astronomy that have been mainly out of reach for black folks. Just 3% of the workforce in these fields is black. The article hot links to another article from salon.com from four years ago so as i said yesterday on the mark belling show the best part about the eclipse was how it brought people together it was something totally free from politics or social divisions or anything like that and all of us as americans could enjoy it together liberals never want that they always want to point out how Everything fits their narrative. Everything is an example of an American oppression that runs far deeper than anything else. Coming up next, we will name the unhinged liberal of the day. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this one, folks. The Dan O'Donnell Show is coming right back. Hey, Dan O'Donnell here for the Lynch family of dealerships. I've been a big proponent of Lynch for a while now. Here's why. They're literally a family dealership and have been since 1957. That's increasingly rare in the dealership world today, but the Lynch family employs 500 plus people who are all dedicated to taking care of you. They've got a wide selection of new and used vehicles, extended service department hours for early drop-offs and late pickups, and most importantly, they're proud supporters of our local communities and schools. They also stand behind what they sell with Lynch certified used vehicles, including a 168 point inspection to determine eligibility, an unparalleled 90 day or 3000 mile certified guarantee and a 10 day 500 mile exchange policy. And when you pair this with the Lynch protected program, they cover your paint, your windshield and your tires. It's easy to see why you should consider Lynch. Check them out today at shop Lynch. Com. Tom Nichols with Meisner, Tierney, Fisher & Nichols. We've been privileged to have Pam Tillman as a shareholder with us for over 15 years. She's rated as one of the top 50 lawyers in Wisconsin by Super Lawyers. If you own a closely held business and have been hit with a non-compete or other business dispute, Pam's a good choice. She's been litigating cases for over 20 years, sometimes involving amounts well into the hundreds of millions of dollars, but also smaller corporate disputes. Pam is not only comfortable and experienced in difficult and contentious litigation, but like all of us, her focus remains on what's in her client's best interest. High integrity and earned respect have been hallmarks of our firm for quite some time. We've been representing businesses here in Wisconsin for over 175 years. You may have no control over who is going to sue you, but you do have control over the attorney that defends you. Good clients deserve good lawyers. Meisner, Tierney, Fisher, and Nichols. MTFN.com. This is Mike and Jim from Brillo Home Improvements. There's always something to be said about integrity, isn't there, Jim? I'd say it's the way we were raised. When you have integrity, you care about the work you do. And you want to make sure the customer feels it, too. It makes the whole process a lot easier. They begin to trust you. And that doesn't take long when they see you really do care. And that's what we look for when we bring on new craftsmen. They gotta live up to the Brillo name. Because being skilled is one thing, but when you join that with a mindset that really is looking to please the customer, then you have something you can build on. And I'll tell you what, when you do that, word seems to get around real quick. I guess that's why we keep growing. 
Bernary award-winning home remodeling and about as down-to-earth of an approach as you're going to find. Check out BrillaHomeImprovements.com and find out why we're so proud of our work. Or better yet, give us a call. Because we're convinced that for your new project, our crews are the kind of folks that you're going to want to be working with. Jay Weber here, someone who knows firsthand how debilitating spine and back problems can be and who knows where to turn to get the highest level of spine care, the team of board-certified physicians and surgeons at Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. You can find them at orthowisconsin.com, orthowisconsin.com. Ortho Wisconsin has treatment plans that can get you back to an active lifestyle and through the least invasive method possible. They take a multifaceted approach that allows them to use a variety of treatment options and find the best for you. Dr. Michael Nolte is their newest spine surgeon, and he and his colleagues are nationally recognized clinicians dedicated to enhancing quality of care for patients looking to restore and recover spinal function. Pain managing procedures are done at Ortho Wisconsin's Ambulatory Surgery Center in Pewaukee and at their Brookfield Clinic, and the more conservative treatments, like physical therapy, are offered at the New Berlin location as well. Find more info at orthowisconsin.com. In fact, if you have any shoulder, spine, hip, knee, or musculoskeletal pain, check out orthowisconsin.com. Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. There is a difference. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. This expo is May 22nd at Brookfield Conference Center. Learn from the experts at the strategy seminars and keynote on building a legendary brand. Connect with business leaders and customers at Biz Expo May 22nd. Register at biztimes.com slash bizexpo. Opinion. Emotion. Passion. This is News Talk 1130 WISN. To the Dan O'Donnell Show, it is time now to name the unhinged liberal of the day. Make me crazy. Trump is Hitler. We are in pre Nazi Germany. All white people people are racist. racist. Does that make me crazy? Trump is dangerous because he's evil. America is. Today's unhinged liberal of the day is also yesterday's unhinged liberal of the day and just might be the unhinged liberal of the year. Woke actress Jennifer Lewis, who most recently starred on ABC's Blackish, was on the Zerlina Maxwell podcast when she went off yesterday on, actually over the weekend, on just an all-timer of a rant about Donald Trump. Here it is again, just because I can't get enough of this rant. As soon as he takes the oath. He will have generals walk down the steps of the Capitol. He will take a hammer and break the glass where the Constitution is, and he will tear it up in our faces Mm. and say, now, I'm the king of the fucking world. You will bow down, bitches. He will punish everybody that didn't vote for him. Let me tell y'all how I know this shit. I know it because I know what mental illness looks like. Hmm. <laughs> that mania is unstoppable. See, this motherfucker is Hitler. <laughs> hmm. He didn't come to play. During that same interview, she went on a nearly as hilarious rant about white people. Black people don't want to fight you. We All we want to do is feed our children mm-hmm. and be equal. But honey, white people are scared. They're becoming a minority. The world is brown. Yeah. And they're going to do everything they can to stay in those gated communities, not pay taxes, and put those nicks in their places, and get those wet nicks out of this god country. We own this bitch. <laughs> well, guess what? You will not win. 
because love is the answer. Clearly, clearly, for Jennifer Lewis, love, except of Trump, is the answer for a second straight day. Jennifer Lewis is your unhinged liberal of the day. I'm telling you, this woman, she's on pace for the unhinged liberal hall of fame. News that's factual, fair, and balanced. This is continuing coverage on News Talk 1130 WISN, Milwaukee. Good morning, I'm Tad Allen. A 50-year-old man was fatally shot by Waukesha police early this morning when officers were sent to the CarMax dealership on Casso Road for reports of a theft in progress. Waukesha Police Chief Daniel Thompson said the suspect was not compliant with the officer's commands. During the interaction, the suspect made overt actions that were consistent with the individual drawing a firearm, which posed immediate danger to the lives of the officers. Officers then shot at the suspect who was hit and transported to the hospital. That's where he later was pronounced dead. It was later determined the suspect didn't possess a firearm. Four officers involved in the incident have been placed on administrative leave. President Biden is proposing a new student loan debt relief program. In Madison College yesterday, Biden said debts are out of control for many graduates. Too many people feel the strain and stress, wondering if they're going to can get married, have their first child, start a family, because even if they get by, they still have this crushing, crushing debt. A previous debt relief plan would have sent $20,000 to anyone still paying off student loans. It was rejected by the U.S. Supreme Court. Speaking of the Supreme Court, special counsel Jack Smith appealed to them yesterday to reject former President Donald Trump's stance that he should be granted absolute immunity in the federal election interference case. Attorney General Merrick Garland appointed Smith in 2022 to investigate Trump's alleged role in working to overturn the 2020 presidential election results. Checking the WISN sports scoreboard, the Brewers are back in action in Cincinnati tonight after falling to the Reds last night. From the Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin News Center. I'm Ted Aylen on Wisconsin's most listened to radio station, News Talk 1130 WISN. Dan O'Donnell here for Mander Collision and Glass, the best decision after a collision. And you hear me talking all the time about how great Mander is. But here's customer Amber, who writes, The quality of customer service at Mander in Muskego has far exceeded my expectations. After being involved in an accident, not my fault, and having experienced some significant difficulties communicating with the individual that hit me, Mander went above and beyond to ensure my needs were being met. I have never felt felt so confident and secure as a customer. The staff truly has their customer's best interests at heart and shows it through their actions. Thank you, Mander, for alleviating my stress through an undesirable chain of events. Thanks so much for sharing your experience, Amber, because that's yet another reason why I recommend Mander so highly. Now with six locations to serve you, Mander truly is your best decision after a collision. Here's the latest forecast from the Fox 6 weather experts. Mostly sunny again today. Temperatures just a hair cooler, likely in the low 60s with a light southwest breeze. Overnight tonight, a few clouds and low 40s, then mid 60s again tomorrow with some rain by late in the day. I'm Fox 6 Chief Meteorologist Rob Haswell. This report is sponsored by DaVita. Whether you're just beginning your nursing career or have been working for years, DaVita is invested in helping find the right role to fit your lifestyle. At DaVita, you'll find family planning benefits, career growth opportunities, and predictable shifts, so you can prioritize what matters most. DaVita.job slash Milwaukee RN. Hi, it's John Reitz from Great Midwest Bank. And you know, there's more to being a local Wisconsin bank than perfectly pronouncing Oconomowoc or Waukesha. Or is it Waukesha? But rest assured, at Great Midwest Bank, we understand the local community and economy because we're a part of it. At GMB, we provide customized lending products that others just can't offer. Experience a hometown banking difference. Head to GreatMidwestBank.com. Great Midwest Bank, your simply local equal housing lender. Homeless animals need your help, and right now, every dollar you give to the Wisconsin Humane Society will be matched by a generous group of donors up to $65,000. The shelters are bursting 
bursting at the seams with cats and dogs who desperately need you. If you'd like to make a gift, simply go to wihumane.org slash springmatch. It's critical to send your gift now to double your impact for animals. Visit wihumane.org slash springmatch to have your donations matched for pets in need. We find the best way to protect and uphold the reputation of our business is to hire good people and then take care of them. We really do love the people that work for us and we care about what's in their best interest. And what that means to you is this, who do you really want on your job? Someone who's maybe underpaid or doesn't feel appreciated? Might not have paid vacations or great work benefits? Our folks have all of these things and more. Vito and I make sure they feel appreciated because happy people do happy work. There's a culture we're building here at Semper Fi that brings respect back to a very hard job. And that's why we know that our crews are going to do the kind of work that you expect. This is Brad Youngluth with Semper Fi Roofing and Exteriors, your local veteran-owned and operated exterior remodeling company. For your new roof, siding, window and door installation, or masonry work, you can count on Semper Fi to keep you safe, warm, and dry. We keep you safe, warm, and dry, Semper Fi. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Today's Dan O'Donnell program is brought to you by Great Midwest Bank. Whether you're ready to buy, build, or renovate, Great Midwest Bank takes the stress out of paying for it. Get started today at greatmidwestbank.com. Window Nation installers are experts. All they do is windows. I'm Benjamin Yant, and I want to talk to you about the time to check your windows. That's now. Call Window Nation. Buy two, get two. Everyone comes with a lifetime warranty and no payments for 24 months. Window Nation. 866-90-NATION or Window Nation.com. Our favorite four-letter word. Free! Free! Download the free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Be sure to listen to the Annex Wealth Management Investment Show Saturday mornings at 11 and Sunday afternoons at 1 on News Talk 1130 WISN. Annex provides its expertise to arm listeners with the knowledge and tools to invest wisely. Annex Wealth Management. Know the difference. Listen on the free iHeartRadio app for all your music, news, talk, and sports radio. Podcasts, too. Download the app. Free never sounded so good. liberal of the day two consecutive days in all the years we've been naming unhinged liberals of the day i don't think so i really don't welcome back to the dan o'donnell show i am dan you want to join us i know you do 414-799-1130 is our adventnose.com talk and text line 1-800-838-9476 email me dod at iheartmedia.com watch the show streaming live via the dan ocam at dan o'donnell show on x facebook.com slash dan o'donnell show and just search for dan o'donnell on YouTube. Why don't people feel better about the Biden economy? This is what the media has been fretting about for years. Now, according to National Review, Gallup, Pew, CNN, The Washington Post, The New York Times, and The Wall Street Journal all have stories out there right now asking variations of the same question. Why isn't the growing economy helping the public perception of Joe Biden? Well, I mean, 
<laughs> it's because Biden's problems go a whole lot deeper than economic malaise. But the reality is that while the economy is going great for the investor class, for the middle, lower middle and lower classes who don't have as much investment income or any investment income or many investments at all or very little savings at all, the economy has been an utter disaster because of not only sky high inflation, but even as inflation has come down, would you believe that it has not been below 3% in 35 consecutive months? This is after inflation basically wasn't an issue in the United States for 40 years. It rarely got above 2.5%. It rarely topped 3%. And when it did, it went right back down. We had 7, 8, 9 percent inflation throughout 2022. And the only reason that it's gone down is the Federal Reserve has jacked interest rates faster and higher than at any point in the last four decades. So people are getting doubly hit. You want to finance a car? Guess what? The car costs more than it ever has before. And now you're paying higher interest rates than you ever have possibly in your lifetime. You want to buy a house? Great. The price of homes has skyrocketed along with the price of everything else, largely due to not a whole lot of supply to meet the demand. But instead of paying two and a half, three and a half, even four and a half to five percent interest, you're lucky if you can get an interest rate below seven percent right now. That's having a massive impact on people's personal finances. Still, they're trotting out Biden's in uh, in economic advisors like Lael Brainerd, who is on CNBC this morning to say, look, we have just done a remarkable job on inflation. I anticipate that we'll continue to see uh, steady progress uh, on inflation over uh, coming months. Um, but of course, uh, that's really important uh, for American consumers. So we're going to keep uh, our eye on that. Uh, but I anticipate inflation will continue the remarkable progress that it's made. Remarkable progress. She is counting on you watching her to be stupid, which I know you are not. And this is the primary reason that Biden isn't getting more credit for the supposedly spectacular economy, because the economy is not spectacular. We've done a great job on inflation. You broke the nation's economy by introducing so much stimulus and instituting a ridiculous war on domestic oil production that prices exploded almost overnight. Inflation went to 30 year highs in the first full month after the Biden stimulus checks started going out in the mail. It was May of 2021. By that summer, we were up to 40 year highs. We hadn't seen inflation year over year that high since the stagflation era of the late 1970s and Carternomics, the first economic malaise. But here's the thing. She's counting on you to be so stupid that you realize that when year over year inflation goes down, so too do prices. So too does your monthly budget go back to where it was before Joe Biden took over. Prices since Biden became president are up 18.5%. Now, that's the official number. I don't buy it for a second. You know why? Because I've been buying groceries lately. I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier. I'm going to be off a couple of days uh, this week. I'm not going to be doing the Belling show on Thursday afternoon, and I'm not going to be doing my show on Friday. Taking a long weekend. It's actually, I think, the first. Well, I was sick for a day and a half. But besides that, first time I'm taking off uh, this year, and I'm really looking forward to it. Just taking a long weekend. But... Uh, what my overarching point is that everyone who understands how prices work and everyone who, you know, buys things 
understands what the economy was like pre-COVID, understands what in four years Donald Trump had done to get this economy roaring back. You might remember we had for a long time in the age of Obama what was known as the jobless recovery. Remember that? After the Great Recession of 2008 to 2009, well, people couldn't figure out why companies just weren't hiring. It might have had something to do with the fact that the Obama administration and Democrats in Congress broke the health care system and companies suddenly couldn't put forth a five-month plan, let alone a five-year plan. They had no idea what their expenses were going to be in terms of health care, which is outside of employee salaries by far the biggest uh, expense for almost all companies. It was only when Trump, and especially after Trump, and I know he's widely hated right now, but then House Speaker Paul Ryan, it was Paul Ryan's bill, cut taxes not only for individual taxpayers, but crucially cut the business tax rate to get us into better competition with the rest of the world that all of a sudden hiring exploded. Weird. I know this is so bizarre. When you put more money in the hands of people who can hire other people and expand their businesses instead of giving all of their hard-earned profits to government, those people hire people. And you know what they do to their existing employees as they expand operations? They have a tendency to give raises. Who would have guessed? Well, all that came crashing to a halt, of course, when Biden took over. It was not the COVID shutdowns that caused inflation. This is another myth that these people have been pushing for almost four years, more than four years now. Well, actually, it's going to be May of 2024 next month that we have the four-year anniversary of Bidenflation when it really took hold. And the funny thing is, we've played the sound bites ad nauseum. These people were warned. They said, look, we've got a recovering economy. Companies are going back online. The COVID lockdowns are over. The vaccines are being rolled out. People are going back to work. The country is opening up again. The last thing you need is a Milton Friedman helicopter drop of money necessarily causing inflation as people run out and spend it on every single tangible good they could find. Remember, back in 2021, you could you still couldn't spend this quote unquote free government money on a whole lot of experiences, right? You didn't want to go to Disney World with half of the park shut down. You got to wear a mask when you meet Mickey Mouse. So what were people spending their money on? A lot of people installed pools. A lot of people bought big screen TVs, home theater systems, that sort of thing. Peloton bikes was a, a big one as people still couldn't in some parts of the country go back to their gym. But the point was this was creating massive demand at the exact same time the Biden administration was also incentivizing people staying out of the workforce by continually extending the enhanced unemployment benefits in which companies suddenly had to compete with not each other for employees but with the government which was paying people to sit on their butts this created a massive supply chain crunch there was also issues with covid lockdowns in china that were causing uh, shipments to be delayed or halted altogether. So it's not just the Biden enhanced unemployment. There's a whole lot of factors that go into that, of course. But a big one was people just weren't going back to the workforce. Well, now they are. And we've got the national uh, employed rate at about 62.7 percent. But those numbers have been grossly misleading because a record number of Americans, 8 million have taken on second jobs. This isn't because, oh, they're getting their side hustle on. It's because they can no longer afford what they could afford before Biden inflation. They have no choice. They have to drive Uber. They have to run uh, for DoorDash. They have to work at a bar a couple of nights a week. They have to work at Walmart a couple of days. This is the reality of Bidenomics. And still, still, 
the Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, interview on MSNBC yesterday, has the utter gall to say, well, families are doing great. I think th we've got a good, strong economy. We've got very strong domestic demand. Um, consumers are holding up some low-income consumers um, or perhaps exhausting their buffers of saving that they build up during the pandemic. We're seeing a little bit more distress at the household level there. But generally, households are in very good financial shape. shape. Our financial system is generally quite strong. Really? Households are in better shape. They're paying roughly $12,000 more in additional inflationary expense than they were when Biden took over in January of 2021. That's $1,000 a month. You get a $12,000 raise last year because I sure as heck didn't. And I've got what's known as a variable income. My income varies on the amount and intensity of endorsement deals that I get and that sort of thing. And even still, I sure as heck did not get that massive of a raise. Nobody did. Inflation is still outpacing wage growth. All of the wage growth is eaten up by the fact that if you want to live the exact same lifestyle that you did in January of 2021, you better scrimp and save and find an additional thousand dollars but oh wait american savings are at the lowest level they pretty much ever have been certainly in the last three four decades because what happens when you have a budgetary crunch you got to dip into your savings you have no choice you can either dip into what you're putting away for retirement or your kids college funds or whatever it is your rainy day fund or you can take on a second job because prices aren't dropped or you can drop back and and just not spend any of your discretionary income. But here's where Biden inflation is so insidious. It has hit things that you don't have a choice in what to pay. You have to pay your rent. You have to pay your utilities. You have to pay for food. You can cut out your, your dining out budget. Heck, you can even cut out your car if gas prices and uh, the price of your monthly car payments are just too high. The interest rates are out of control. You can get rid of that. You can't stop eating as much as some of us who are looking to shed a couple of pounds might like that reality. It is not reality. The reality is that people have had no choice but to either overextend themselves in terms of the amount of hours they're working or overextend themselves dipping into their savings and going into debt to pay for the mess that these idiots have made. Classical conservatism, contemporary style. You're listening to The Dan O'Donnell Show. More of it next. Follow Dan on Facebook, facebook.com slash Dan O'Donnell Show. Dan O'Donnell will be right back. With nearly 50 years of experience, my dad, Jim Mullally, has taught my cousin Mark everything he knows. In fact, he bestowed so much expertise onto Mark that Mark went to New York to compete against the top furniture finishers in the country. And you know what? He won! So if you're looking for the finest of furniture finishing and heirloom restoration, by golly, it's Malali. Malali Furniture Finishing and Repair. Serving everywhere. Quality counts. M-U-L-L-A-L-Y. Finishing.com. The bulk of our business is in wood furniture restoration. We found that there are a lot of folks out there with antique furniture and heirloom pieces that are in good shape, but just need to be brought back to life again. Well, that's our specialty. And right here in Mequon, you'll find one of the country's top furniture finishers. So if you want only the finest in furniture finishing and heirloom restoration, by golly, it's Malali. Malali Furniture Finishing and Repair. We're no jobs too small. Serving everywhere. Quality counts. Attend Biz Expo May 22nd at Brookfield Conference Center. Learn how to build a legendary brand by creating raving fans from keynote speaker and author Scott Wozniak. Attend strategy seminars on company culture, business growth, AI and cybersecurity, leadership, exit planning, tax savings for business, and more. Network and connect with your peers and the region's leading product and service providers. Biz Expo is Wednesday, May 22nd. Register to attend at biztimes.com slash bizexpo. Hey guys, Donald Trump 
Jr. here. Let me ask you this. Does inflation feel worse than what we're being told in the news? That's because the official inflation rate doesn't tell the whole story. Since January 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back, but what you can do is stop your losses today. How? By diversifying your savings into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. When you're done, your money will be parked in a tangible asset with a proven history. To see how it works, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word SECURE to 989898. I trust Birch Gold. They provide an easy process to roll over your 401k or IRA into gold without losing your tax advantaged status. So text SECURE to 989898. 989898. That's secure to the number 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs from Birch Gold. Message and data rates may apply. We're throwing a party and you get the presents. Hi, this is Terry Ludwig, owner of All American Window and Door. Our 39th anniversary is an event you don't want to miss. It's a celebration of passion, commitment, and you. Our 39th anniversary also means prizes, surprises, and savings that take the cake. Join us for great deals. Party this week at All-American Window and Door on Mequon Road in Germantown. 262-255-7170. Estimates are free. Congratulations to the Yukon Huskies, the winners of college basketball's national championship. They defeated Purdue in what turned out to be a blowout last night. They won their second consecutive national championship, first time that has happened since 2007. The Florida Gators with Joakim Noah were able to do it. The kid who impressed me the most throughout the NCAA tournament has got to be Zach Edie. I can't believe if this was 1994 instead of 2024, heck, if this was 2004 instead of 2024, Zach Edie would be the unquestioned, no doubt, first overall pick in the NBA. He won the College Player of the Year award two consecutive times. That is, I can't remember the last time that happened. If it ever happened, I don't actually know. He's seven foot four. He's just an absolute beast of a player, but he plays a style of basketball that isn't played anymore. A guy like him just posting up, banging the ball inside, trying to draw a foul or just taking it strong to the basket with a little hook shot, drop step dunk, that sort of thing. Nobody does it. Nobody posts up anymore. This actually got me thinking, who's one of the biggest basketball media stars today? Shaq, right? You saw him all over the Home Depot commercials. He's one of the greatest centers of all time. Shaq was seven foot one and he was listed at like 305 pounds. I never believed that for a second. When he was in his prime, he was like 340 pounds of muscle. That man was absolutely unstoppable. Would Shaquille O'Neal be able to play in today's NBA? Victor Wembenyama is the modern center. He's seven foot five. He can shoot threes and he plays essentially as a perimeter player. Pretty much in every era of basketball, especially at the NBA level, except the current one, Victor Wembenyama would never move from about three feet away from the basket. And you would just throw the ball up to him, and he would essentially, just like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, remember the sky hook? Why the sky hook was so impossible to defend was because Kareem was so big that he essentially released the ball from above the rim, and it was always going down. You literally couldn't block it or it was goaltending that's all Wembenyama would do but that type of basketball just isn't played anymore now I'm not saying if that's a good thing or a bad thing 
But watching the NCAA tournament and watching the Milwaukee Bucks, who are just never going to win another game, at what point do they just bring Adrian Griffin back and say, sorry, Adrian, we made a mistake, all is forgiven. This does not look like a team that's getting beyond the second round of the playoffs. It just doesn't. They look lost. They look listless. Yes, I know they've been banged up, but this is not the time to go into the tank with the NBA playoffs beginning in about a week or so. On the women's side, the NCAA championship game between Iowa, featuring, of course, Caitlin Clark, who I think, do you think Caitlin Clark is the second most famous basketball player, man or woman, in the world today? I'll still go number one is LeBron James. Well, no, active players, idiot. Yes, obviously Jordan and Shaq and Charles Barkley, who's on TV all the time. Active players. I would say LeBron James, Steph Curry, Caitlin Clark is right up there. I can't even think of number three right now. Joel Embiid, maybe Wembenyama. Caitlin Clark just turned into a phenomenon. Here is another statistic that proves this. The women's championship game, which Iowa lost to a a just dominant South Carolina squad, had a preliminary audience average of 18.7 million viewers across both ABC and ESPN. The only sporting events in the United States in the last five years to draw bigger than that game were football, the Olympics, and the World Cup. Nielsen said the audience for that game peaked at 24 million. This is the most watched basketball game since 2019, when the men's NCAA title game between Virginia and Texas Tech averaged 19.6 million on CBS. Now, uh, the game last night was shown on TBS and TNT. Purdue taking on UConn, both schools with big followings, UConn looking for its second straight championship, but stars bring viewers in basketball, right? Can you name a single player on UConn? Yeah. Donovan Klingon is their best one. He's probably going to be a top five pick. Donovan Klingon. Yeah, exactly. Danny Hurley is probably the most famous guy in that squad. He's the coach, for goodness sakes. It is possible that this will be the first year that the women's NCAA championship will outdraw the men's NCAA championship. Ticket prices, producer Dave says, were indeed higher. Now, they were played in two different cities. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but it just goes to show you the draw. I mean, we have seen, really, I think, starting last year at the Final Four. I mean, Caitlin Clark was a a good women's basketball player, but let's face it, was she a household name before they upset South Carolina and they beat LSU in the championship game? No, and then this year, breaking record after record after record in terms of scoring and, and taking the team to a second straight championship game and scoring like 40 points a game throughout the tournament. I mean, it just put her in this rarefied air. I'm actually struggling to think of a female athlete that is as big as she is right now, that has ever been as big as she is right now. Dave, in terms of basketball players, I don't think Cheryl Swoops was ever this big. Rebecca Lobo, Brittany Griner. More people know Brittany Griner for getting arrested in Moscow than they do for her exploits on the basketball court. In terms of female athletes across all sports, can you think of a bigger athlete than Caitlin Clark is right now? And I I got some people said, Dan, there's no way Nike will pay her $100 million for a women's shoe. I said, you don't know marketing, guys, because every little girl in the world who plays basketball is going to want the Caitlin Clark shoes. She is going to be a spokesperson. She'll get the, the Wheaties endorsement. She'll get Nike. I mean, companies are going to be just banging down a path to her door. And there were some people who said, well, she's going to make more in NIL money in college. Are you people nuts? 
<laughs> when she, the second she signs her deal with Nike, which is coming and it is coming soon, they're going to have the Caitlin Clark basketball shoe out clearly before the next basketball season when you know boys and girls basketball season starts if they're smart they'll get it out like now i'm i'm sure they've been developing a shoe just to wait to put her name on it they'll want to get it out by this summer's aau season because every little girl is going to want to wear the caitlin clark shoe but you're talking streaming services you get her to say hulu has live sports just give her like in the Giannis commercials where they just gave him a bag of money i'm telling you uh, a female athlete with that sort of buzz especially in i mean woke corporate america are you kidding me that wants to prove well we don't just hire male endorsement athletes we hire females as well i'm telling you this year what do you think caitlin clark's total income is going to be i think well north of 30 million dollars I think well, well north of 30. When we come back, President Biden goes to Madison, proposes more student loan debt forgiveness, which is actually student loan debt transfer, and tells one whopper of a long debunked lie. That's coming up on the Dan O'Donnell Show. It is conservative thought, not just talk. Classical conservatism, contemporary style. The Dan O'Donnell Show will be right back. I'm Brett Ochtenhagen, owner of Brett Ochtenhagen Seasonal Services. I frequently speak with people who are unhappy with their landscaping and they're unsure how to turn things around. Well, here are four tasks that will make a remarkable improvement to dull landscaping. Number one, thick, lush, green grass. We need food and water to be healthy. Our lawn care programs and irrigation systems provide your grass with everything it needs to thrive. Number two, pruning. Regular, technically correct pruning keeps plants strong and vibrant. Number three, plant bed edging and a fresh layer of bark mulch. There's nothing better than the look of crisp bed edges and fresh mulch. Number four, landscape lighting. You finally have your landscaping looking its best. A landscape lighting system lets your landscaping come alive after dark. So there you are, four landscaping tips that amplify the beauty of your home. Please call Seasonal Services at 262-392-3444 or look for us online at seasonalservices.com. Acunet Mortgage is an equal housing lender. NMLS ID 255-368. Steve and Ashley heard our radio ads over the years, and when it came time to buy their first home, clicked on the blue button. One of our senior loan consultants, Brad, sent them a credit-verified pre-approval the same day and then upgraded to a rock-solid, fully verified and guaranteed pre-approval shortly thereafter. They made a couple offers without success, and then Brad told them about Acunet's new property-specific pre-approval, where we might be able to include those magic words, no appraisal required. When they wrote their next offer, several thousand dollars over asking to make sure someone else didn't end up sleeping in their dream home, their property-specific rock-solid guaranteed pre-approval included that most powerful phrase, no appraisal required, and the sellers picked Steve and Ashley's offer over several others. If you think all mortgage lenders and pre-approvals are the same, think again. Go with a local mortgage lender that has the tools and know-how to help you win and save money, too. Click on the blue button today at accunet.com. It is this week with Annex Wealth Management, Dan O'Donnell, alongside the president and CEO of Annex, Dave Spano. And we got some news, Dave, about inflation, especially on top of the jobs report, which was much hotter than expected, that is leading at least some investors to think that the long-promised interest rate cuts might not be coming later this year. What say you? We did get a higher inflation report in January and February, and then, as you said, followed up by a jobs report that was higher than expected, adding 300,000 jobs, lowering the unemployment rate to 3.8%. So right after that, we had a number of Fed governors, including Minnesota's own Neil Kashkara, who thought that perhaps talking about rate cuts later this year might be a little too early. And then on top of that, Dallas Fed President Lori Logan said the same. We're going to have to wait and see, Dan to see what really comes out of that because the expectation, as you, as you remember, was six rate cuts by the market. That's been lowered to three. We do think we're going to see a quarter point, at least one or two rate cuts yet this year. And that, of course, is going to have an effect on a lot of things, including mortgage rates, 
the stock market, and of course, the presidential election. If we get these rate cuts as expected, that could continue the strong GDP report and, of course, an economy that could end up on both of its feet that wasn't expected a year ago. Yeah, and that's why with all this uncertainty on top of the presidential election, which is the biggest uncertainty of all, you really need to know what you own and why you own it. You really need to head to AnnexWealth.com and get a review of your portfolio. It's called a wealth metric, and it is available at AnnexWealth.com exclusively. For Dave Spano, president and CEO of Annex, I'm Dan O'Donnell. This has been This Week with Annex Wealth Management. The next generation ultimate double hung window from Marvin, featuring never been foreseen hardware, operation, performance, and design is an impressive product. With the flick of the sweep, the bottom and top sashes can both be open to let air in. And when one sash is open, the other can be locked, a feature that no other double hung window on the market offers. And in vent mode, the sash can be opened up to four inches while remaining locked, giving you added ventilation with security. In my life, I've seen plenty of windows, but I've never been as excited as I am to offer Marvin's next generation ultimate double hung window to you this is david wilhelm see for yourself marvin windows and doors are built around you and marvin's next generation ultimate double hung window is proof positive of that see wisconsin's largest selection of marvin windows and doors at your clear choice for more lisbon storm screen and door your clear choice for more lisbon storm screen and door we're throwing a party, and you get the presents. Hi, this is Terry Ludwig, owner of All American Window and Door. Our 39th anniversary is an event you don't want to miss. It's a celebration of passion, commitment, and you. Our 39th anniversary also means prizes, surprises, and savings that take the cake. Join us for great deals. Party this week at All American Window and Door on Mequon Road in Germantown. 262-255-7170. Estimates are free. For your new roof, we'll give you the hands-down best lifetime workmanship warranty in the industry. You can count on Semper Fi. Keep you safe, warm, and dry. We keep you safe, warm, and dry. Semper Fi. For more information about contests on News Talk 1130 WISN, go to Newstalk1130.com slash rules. Offering one of the strongest lineups of talk show hosts in the history of local radio. This is Wisconsin's most listened to radio station. News Talk 1130 WISN. Liars, cheats, democratic politicians, liberal media types. Instead, listen to this. It is the Dan O'Donnell Show, a tour de force of truth each and every day. I so do love doing this show. You know what makes it so special? As I was talking yesterday on the Mark Belling Late Afternoon Show, the reason uh, the eclipse was so big, and yes, you can watch producer Dave's ridiculous Facebook Live of me watching the eclipse did it have that many views of just me looking up at the sky and your commentary and we were talking it was a lot of fun actually doing that live stream we should do more of that dave just like impromptu stuff where it's just you and i talking maybe post show for 10 minutes and just straight i mean we've got all the equipment we might as well but no what what i realized was why so many people were doing something that on its face sounds totally ridiculous just driving on a random monday afternoon to see the sky go dark for five minutes wasn't necessarily about the experience itself but what is the thing about human experiences that we love the most sharing them with the people we love and just random people we meet who all share the same thing. For those four minutes, the people who were in the path of totality weren't strangers. They were all bonded together by that one shared experience. And it's really powerful. And the thing 
I realized I sort of had a profound truth. What I love most about doing the job that I do, and, and make no mistake, as much as I do complain, and I do love complaining about all of the various technical stuff, and sometimes, folks, I am just exhausted, like physically and mentally exhausted doing two shows. Why I love this and couldn't ever imagine myself doing another job or even working at another place because I just have the freedom to say and do whatever I want, but it's the community. It's that shared experience of doing a show and, and having an audience, having the audience feedback. You really feel like you get to know. I think a lot of people feel like they get to know me. I'll meet people. I'll meet loyal listeners in person. They'll ask, hey, Dan, how did... The... And I'll be like, how how did you know about this aspect of my private life? And then I realize, oh, wait, I was talking about it on the air. But they'll say, you know, hey, Dan, how's your son's, you know, high school golf season going? Like, oh, yeah, it's going great. You know, it's like we really feel like we get to know each other. It's really a community. And this is why, by the way, I'm going to give a shameless plug to watching the show on the Dano Cam because there is a great community of people, especially on YouTube, who are watching it, who comment. They're sort of a running commentary. It's one loyal listener's birthday today. We have got her message on the screen. We say a very, very happy birthday to Allison. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we do thank you so much for spending a portion of it. We've got Allison's comment on the screen saying, hey, it's my birthday today. And yes, Allison, special happy birthday to you. Thank you for listening and watching the show every single day. It's it's that sort of stuff that makes the Dan O'Donnell show, it makes all successful radio shows, I think, a community. That That is what I think defines success in this medium, even more so than on television, right? I still use as a, a guiding philosophy of life the recently retired Jeff Wagner, who I am told, I haven't talked to Jeff in quite some time, I should change that, we should get a coffee, uh, is living the high life in Florida right now. And I am totally jealous, regardless of how nice it's been here the last couple of days. He said, people may recognize you from TV, but they know you from radio. Truer words, I think, have never been spoken. President Biden was in Madison yesterday with another round of student loan debt forgiveness, a.k.a. student loan wealth transfer. And I was sort of surprised to hear him open up his speech with a very widely debunked lie. I, like an awful lot of people in this audience, uh, had was the first in my family to go to college and watch my dad struggle to help me get there. And get all the kids there and it wasn't easy okay wow that's impressive i did not know that about joe biden because it never happened biden was not the first member of his family to go to college in fact as recently as two years ago he was bragging about his grandfather who said he said was a college sports star my grandfather finney grooms can't be really be proud of me right now no i'm not joking he would by the way he's an all-american football player john in santa clara <laughs> okay so where did he get this idea that he was the very first biden to go to college this was part of a speech from 1987 that he completely plagiarized from a member of the British House of Lords named Neil Kinnock. This was a massive scandal back then. It actually forced Biden out of the presidential race. We actually took Biden's I am the first member of my family to go to college line and spliced it in with Neil Kinnock's speech to illustrate just how hilariously this buffoon plagiarized. And I started thinking as I was coming over here, why is it that Joe Biden is the first in his family ever to go to a university? Why am I? in a thousand generations to be able to get the university. Why is it that my wife who's sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Why is Glenis the first woman in her family in a thousand generations to be able to get the university? No, it's not because they weren't as smart. It's not because they didn't work as hard. It's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand. Does anybody really think that they didn't get what we had because they didn't have the talent? 
or the strength or the endurance or the commitment. Of course not. It was because there was no platform upon which they could stand. So Biden is defaulting, and you know that was not in the teleprompter. He's defaulting to an old lie he told 35-plus years ago. So the question this obviously raises is, is Biden still an inveterate liar, or has he gone so senile that he doesn't remember which of his life story is a lie and which is the truth. My guess is it's some combination of both. Also, did you happen to catch how much sharper Biden's out? Granted, 35 years ago is 35 years ago. That doesn't even sound like the same person speaking today. Coming up next, we will have more on Biden's student loan wealth transfer. The Dan O'Donnell Show will be right back in just a quick second. Don't you dare go anywhere. This is Michael Lynch from the Lynch Truck Center. We've been working hard sourcing work trucks from all over the country. We currently have over 300 commercial work trucks in stock and ready for your choice of outfit. Our sales team is 100% dedicated to commercial trucks, which means our truck professionals can get you the right truck right now. Our new inventory of Chevrolet, GMC, Isuzu, Hino, not to mention our used inventory, combined with nearly 30 commercial financial lenders, ensures the lowest rates possible for you and the fastest buying experience. Our service center has over 20 dedicated truck bays running two shifts, a contact-free sales process, and delivery drivers ready to deliver your truck right to your door. We know your time is important, so we make sure our process is quick and hassle-free. Find your new truck today at lynchtruckcenter.com or stop into the Lynch Truck Center at Highway 36 in Waterford. We won't disappoint you. This is Mike and Jim from Brillo Home Improvements. So we do a lot of these ads, and sometimes you feel like you run out of things to say. Yeah, I hear you. So what do you think people want to hear? Obviously, we're always going to tell them the truth, because that's just the way we are. But when it comes to home remodeling, you just have to push quality. I mean, that's what we're known for. Attention to detail. Real craftsmanship. Outstanding design. When you go to BrilloHomeImprovements.com, you're going to see beautiful work and high-level home transformations. And we can do anything. But I'm particularly proud of our additions, because a lot of times, they're challenging jobs. And we've always risen to the challenge. And you know, we exceed expectations, too. Sounds like we've said exactly what we want our next new customer to hear. Bernary award-winning home remodeling. And about as down-to-earth of an approach as you're going to find. Go to BrilloHomeImprovements.com. Or better yet, give us a call. And we're going to do everything we can to show you that you definitely made the right choice. Get your free duct doctor checkup from Capital Heating, Cooling, and Electric today. All right, Doc, tell me the bad news. I think we can save it. But my air conditioner is weak. What other symptoms are you having? My energy bills are through the roof. High energy costs are common. I keep throwing money away on repairs. Let me take your AC's blood pressure real quick. Oh boy. What is it? Your ductwork is too small. Oh no. Your whole system's gasping for breath. Really? Imagine running a marathon, having to breathe through a straw. And that's causing all these symptoms? Exactly. But Capital's duct doctors can fix it. You can? 90% of houses have heat and air systems that can't breathe right. That's crazy. When we fix your ductwork, it's going to clear all your problems right up. My AC will blow strong again? Yes, sir. And I'll save money on energy bills. And repairs. Woo! Doc, I've never felt better. Get your free Duck Doctor checkup from Capital Heating, Cooling, and Electric today. Or schedule online at callcapitalcares.com. Don't let everyday aches and pains keep you from living your best life. I don't think I really understood what people meant when they talked about pain. Until I started feeling it myself. Start feeling better. Better every day with Relief Factor, a daily supplement designed to support your body's fight against aches and pains. Not only do I move better without pain, I just feel better. Created by doctors, Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients that target four metabolic pathways to address pain. Relief Factor doesn't just mask aches and pains, it helps reduce or even eliminate them. Today, I do the things I love and it doesn't occur to me to think about pain. You can feel
feel the difference all day, every day. Join the over 1 million people who have tried Relief Factor's three-week quick start kit. It's only $19.95 and comes with our feel better or your money back guarantee. Visit relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. That's 1-800-4-RELIEF. I know, some houses are strange, weird, need significant repairs, perhaps just really tough to sell. I get it, you feel you need to pay 6% to sell it, and maybe you truly do. This is Bob Tarantino from Redefined Realty. If you have a property that is kind of normal, generally really nice, maybe even just plain stunning, the Redefined Realty 3.99% commission plan will get the job done just fine. Our marketing is amazingly similar to the 6% brokers, we're even in the same local MLS. Visit RedefineRealty.com for details and a free market analysis. Hi, this is Nick from Metro Milwaukee Homebuyer. And if you want to sell your house fast for cash, contact us today. We are a local family business, A plus with the BBB, and we always treat you right. Visit MetroMilwaukeeHomebuyer.com to get your fair as is cash offer today. Window Nation installers are experts. All they do is windows. I'm Benjamin Yant, and I want to talk to you about the time to check your windows. That's now. Call Window Nation. Buy two, get two. Everyone comes with a lifetime warranty and no payments for 24 months. Window Nation. 866-90-NATION or windownation.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. show classical conservatism contemporary style the truth and nothing but each and every minute of each and every broadcast i feel we've started something producer dave it's the dan o'donnell show birthday wish hotline Loyal listen. Oh, I only do this for loyal listeners who I know watch or listen to the show every day, but it is also loyal listener Laura's birthday today as well. So happy birthday, Laura. We do truly appreciate you listening to the Dan O'Donnell show each and every day. We should start a brand new segment here on the Dan O'Donnell show. Liberal staying stupid bleep about the eclipse. We've got another one. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, a Democrat of Texas, was talking about the moon and the sun at uh, yesterday's appearance at a high school track field or a football field where, you know, the school goes out and they all have their glasses and they watch the eclipse. She told the gathered students there that the moon is really an amazing thing because it's made up mostly of gases. Sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is that complete rounded circle, which is made up mostly of gases. And that's why the question, the question is why or how could we as humans live on the moon? Are the gases such that we could do that? So, um... Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the moon is not made up of gases. This is like one step away from saying it's made up of green cheese. The moon is made up of sedimentary material and rock. It is a, a, it's a rock-based satellite of the Earth. Would you believe Sheila Jackson Lee sat on both the House Science Committee and the House Space Committee. And she thinks the moon is made up of gas. All right. Dave, we're going to do a very quick vote. I know we said we would talk about student loans. I can do that in the Mark Belling late afternoon show. We spent an extensive amount of time yesterday doing so. I want to do a very quick poll. Dumbest thing that was said about the eclipse yesterday. Was it Sheila Jackson Lee saying that the moon is made up of gases? Was it this random writer from Capital B News saying that the eclipse is racist because there aren't enough black astronomers? Or was it Sonny Hostin saying that the eclipse, the emergence of the 17-year cicadas, and also the New York earthquake are the result of climate change? Those things together 
would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists that's more or something point. is really or going is returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. It's coming because eclipses happen, and they actually they've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen, and they actually can say when these things are going to happen. What's your vote, producer Dave? You say Sonny Hostin. I think it's got to be. She mentioned three different things which are obviously not related to climate change at all and said all three are because of climate change. Come on, though. Sheila Jackson Lee said the moon is made up of gases. Sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is that complete rounded circle, which is made up mostly of gases. <laughs> and that's why the question... The question is why or how could we as humans live on the moon? Are the gases such that we could do that? You know what the irony is, of course, is that Sheila Jackson Lee is made up mostly of gases. <laughs> There is a lot of hot air coming out of Sheila Jackson Lee's mouth. Didn't she recently run for mayor of Houston? I feel like she did, Dave. Uh, all right. So what is the dumbest? Is it A, Sheila Jackson Lee, B, random writer who said that the eclipse was racist, or C, Sonny Hostin saying the eclipse, the cicadas, which she called cicadas and had to be corrected by Whoopi Goldberg, and also the New York earthquake were the result of climate change. Sonny Hostin is running away with this, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I think it's got to be. And I am continually on the lookout. If you can find some more stuff, I've got about four hours before I do the Mark Belling late afternoon show on WISN. If you can find me some more liberals saying dumb stuff about the eclipse, please, please, please pass that along to me. We will have continuing coverage this afternoon. I am going to go back to working my sources to find out more information about our top story, which was, of course, the uh, delayed charges, a 72-hour hold for the person of interest in connection with the homicide investigation and subsequent body parts discovered all across Milwaukee. Thank you so much for a thoroughly enjoyable show. We will talk to you again 3 o'clock on the Mark Belling Late Afternoon Show.